Okay, here we go. I got an easy one for you. You ready for this? Are you ready for this? How do we stop racism in America? Can't. Oh man, we need a we need a Can't. no one word answer will not fit this. How do we stop it? Take every racist person and put them on a spaceship and send them to space so they can all die. Yeah, I don't think removal removes the problem. Like I said, you can't. Physically can't. Teach, teach let's, people. Let's come up with a better solution then. Because <laughs> removing the people probably doesn't remove the racism. Or does it? Why do you keep going to removal? Because, it, <laughs> because you can't, like in schools, if you have someone teaching a uh, a history class, and that's a hundred percent not factual, and it causes children to then think. that black and brown people should be treated in such a fashion, making them then racist. You're telling me children can be racist? Of course children can be racist. They just may not know it. But it's a it's a problem of adults teaching children at that point. No, but then if that's the case, then are the children racist? Racism is taught. No, 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 but are the children racist? Or are they just parroting what, what their parents have said, say. which means essentially they're doing what they're doing without an understanding right. of what they're doing, which means they're not. So I said, at, yeah. at some point, no, the they child, do. child, stick with child, not once they get older and start to understand and have taken classes and no, no. child. Okay, so at what age is that? Child. What age? Child. I'm being specific. Child. What do we consider a child? So up to age eight. Is that when we consider uh, the end of childhood? Ad I think adolescence is around. Okay, so there you go. Ten. Okay, so, so there you go. Now, yeah. you tell me an eight-year-old can be racist. I think an eight-year-old mimics what they hear. Okay, right. so. In other words, parent, if you walk into someone's house and there's a parrot in the house, and the parrot says, Parrot, parrot! Does that make the parrot racist? No. no. It means it mimics what it hears in the house. So if we're talking about mimicry, are we saying that people that are only mimicking are not racist? If that's the case, then that would make that child not racist. Right? Right. Now, I don't really care when people become racists really not where this is going, but how do we stop it? How do we stop racism? Where where do we where do we begin the birth. process? The birth of a child. A birth a birth does nothing for racism. No, you have to start educating them. Okay, so education experiences. So it's, it's a problem of the schools? Or the problem of the parents? It's a problem of the society, the culture. It's not yeah, simply just in the school. It's, so you're saying... It's at home. It's at church. It's in, it's in the supermarket. It's in uh, availability of housing and the way the police interact with the people. It's everywhere. Yeah, I know, but the baby is not dealing with any of those things. There, if you have the baby, you said birth. So, at birth, how do you now not... How do you then quell racism in that baby? Because housing and all those other things, Read I don't think are... about diversity. You give the baby diverse colors of, of toys. You you have them around people of different shades and different beliefs. And that's... Teach acceptance. Tolerance and... So, in other words, you're saying it's all the parents. Now, so it's on the, at least it's on the parents first. Yeah, yeah. 
It's always on the until, parents' well, end. Until the child goes to school. Then it's on the parents' end uh, school. Right? Yep. And the wider community. Yep. And because basically, if you're saying that the child should be around people, well, that's a decision that the parents make, not a decision that the child makes. Yep. So, um... Traditionally, children don't get to make their own decisions until they're much older. Right. So, if you're going to have a play date, it's the parent making that, making that call. Right. Okay. So, what does a... How... How do we make parents better? Parent education. Classes. Who's going to do that? Why not? Who's going to do parent education? The problem with that then is whatever whoever's teaching, whatever they think a parent should be, is what's going to be taught. It's not going to be all accepted one way because you're then going to have people that aren't going to agree with that. They're either not going to agree with one part or they're not going to agree with the whole thing. I teach things all the time that I don't agree with and don't like because that's what's required of me. I know, but parenting, that's like saying teaching someone how to live. Yeah. There's no one right way of doing it. There's a bunch of different ways. But is there a right way for that parent to not pass on being racist to their child? Maybe. I'd say there's more than one way for that, too. Probably. Uh, Lots of ways to skin that cat. But... I guess with... I think what you said before, it is it's up to the community to make a a real decision to modify everything in that community. But then next door there's another community. Right. And does that mean I mean how do you how, you know, I mean we have it here in, in Michigan very starkly. There are lines. Shit, this city's got a freaking division. It's a street called Division, and it divides the city, literally. Um, if you have people in one community that are doing all those things, but then your child is going to go to school with people from another community, potentially. I mean, we're here in we Grand Rapids, and right next to us is East Grand Rapids which they are quite different. Yeah. Um, and then right next to us, to the south, is Kentwood, also different. If you're, if you're, if you're, you've made the decision, well, what if they don't? Then what do you do? It's like, it's almost like, how do you <coughs> legislate out racism? Yeah. Or can you? Is that even a possibility? Can we put people in jail for being racist? Then you'd have all the racists in one spot. But then that you can, then can kill them, right? That's what you want to do. Yeah. Then you can deport them. And it's easy. Deport them to where? Uh, to a remote island. Australia? Don't make me pull up that thing again. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, Australia. Um, Land for the white man. I think the... I think it's too... Tree has already grown. You can't. There's no way to pull up all those roots now. But you can kill them if you cut it down. Yeah, but yeah, but you can't really do that because then it's just gonna grow more trees. No. Uh, no, not if you kill it. Not if you kill it. How to you go with your metaphor? With. Okay, but then I was wrong in my metaphor because there's no one. In other words, there's no head of if you if you are racist. And I kill you. I don't have to worry about you being racist anymore. Sure. Okay. So if there's a family of racists, and I kill all the people in that family, you have to do that. All no, no. I'm just saying everyone. this is your tree thing, right? 
I kill all the people, and that, that family's not racist anymore. I mean, they could be racist, but I don't know what they do. They're all not around to inflict pain and you know, hardship. So, um, okay. Well, looks like another one to be continued. How to remove racism. Can it be done? Have other countries remove their racism? Something to think about. I would say no. Even those that want to make themselves feel as though they are so progressive and fair, there is still inherent bias based on those racist attitudes and discriminatory practices based on those those attitudes. So that's still a thing. It, that I don't, it's like, it's like saying, um, like removing slavery from the world. When everybody, for some reason, lots of people think that there is no slavery in the world anymore, which is kind of psycho since it never stopped. Nope. Slavery is still going on today. Things that happened yesterday. Yeah, it's still going on today. So the idea that, oh, we, it stopped in the United States and England for, say, importation of black folks from Africa to those places, and then we think slavery ended. One, that kind of slavery still didn't end, but it's still not over. It's still going. People are still being enslaved in many countries around the world today. So, if you couldn't get rid of the slavery, which is a, an overt physical act, how are you going to get rid of something that's in people's minds, right? an ideology, a way of thinking? Right? No, it's like uh, uh, the ideas of Nazism was was just that. They were ideas, and they had ideas that encompassed all kinds of parts of their lives. They didn't go anywhere, so. And even with the death of key players in that, it still didn't go anywhere. It's still with us. I don't know if you can kill thoughts. Can you kill ideas, though? Yeah, it happens it's a every very, day in It's time. a very, very obvious answer. Absolutely not. You can't kill ideas. But something to think about. So, can racism be ended? If you want to follow the Traveling Parts, you can find us at the YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, iTunes, Spotify, and anywhere sexy podcasts are sold sexy. at the Traveling Parts. Sexy podcast. Sexy. If you like the Instagram and the Twitters, Traveling Parts. If you want to send Karen an email, travelingpars at gmail.com and the blog space, the travelingpars.blueberry.net. No E's in the blueberries. Did you mention Patreon? You're way stepping to, on way his... Way to steal the thunder, man. I'm sorry. You're stepping on Hit his it. Patreon. Wow. Hit it. Also, go to patreon.com slash thetravelingfars. Give us your money. You can do it now. And where else can they give money? At the GoFundMe. At the GoFundMe. GoFundMe. It's called GoFundMe. GoFundMe.com. And the campaign is the Traveling Fars. No, actually, it's not. What is it? The campaign is GoFundMe Move Dash to Dash Poland. That is what it actually is. Move to Poland. Because whoever made it, that's what they said. What it asks for. Right. I gave it what it asks I have a feeling that, you know. It's what it asks for. She did that. I did exactly Because if you do a copy link from them, it's like garbage. Yes. So you have to, you have to, if you put in GoFundMe and then like GoFundMe slash the traveling fars, um, I think it will come to us if you do GoFundMe and then the move underscore to underscore Poland, it will go to us. But what I do is just go to GoFundMe and then 
do a search for the driveway cars. That's the easiest. Here, and I'll put the link in the description. No? no? Well, the link is there, but like I said, it's garbage. Really easy. The link that comes from them. Why not just do a share link? That's, that that's is, that's the, the information does. that it gives. It gives that. Because when people share it on social media, it brings up the photo that then you can click on. So nobody cares about what the link says. But there's no photo in a YouTube description. Gotcha. No photo. So we're out of here. Hi, people. Have a great day. <laughs> Peace. I'm burning. <laughs> Run away. Thank you.